Hey guys, Ivan here at ivanmana.com and in this video I want to show you how to add a Google Analytics code to your Unbounce pages. There are two ways of doing this. One is by going through every single page and manually adding it and the other way is by using the pre-built integration between Unbounce and Google Analytics. You can however use both methods and sometimes you will end up using both at the same time. But let's start with the first method, the integration. So click on settings here and click on script manager and click on add your first script. Now we need the analytics ID. Okay. So to get that, let's click on analytics here. Let's go back to our analytics account. We're going to head over to admin and click on tracking info and tracking code. Okay. Now basically we have to add this entire code to all the pages, but because of this pre-built integration, we don't have to, it's much simpler than that. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to copy this tracking ID right here. We're going to go back into Unbounce and paste it here. Now notice that it says Google analytics here, make sure it's on Google analytics. I'm going to cover other systems in a different video, but just make sure it says Google analytics here. Okay. And click on add script details. Now over here, you have to select your domain. So if you are using this method, you have to have a custom domain set up. Make sure to check out my video. I'm going to link it up above. It's a very simple process. I show you exactly step by step how to do it. So if you don't have a domain again, check the video out. It's going to be a little circle that's going to come in, swoop in through the side, click on that. Now let's suppose, you know, these are all our domains. Let's suppose we want to add this code to all the pages with this domain, the best diet dot fit. So what this is going to do is every single page, every page, right? There are, we have six pages here that have this domain. Every page with this domain is going to have this Google analytics code added to it automatically. Okay. So remember those times when we had, you know, four to five different pages in a funnel and we had to go in and manually add that to all those pages. You don't have to, this does it automatically. Okay. Super convenient. So make sure everything here is good to go before you hit save and publish. It's going to take about a minute or two to publish. It takes a long time. Okay. Uh, so make sure you change everything here. You select your domain, you add the Google analytics, you change the name here. So let's say Google analytics for our, uh, what's the name? Keto diet dot fit, right? Or let's just say keto diet. Okay. So make sure you name it. Uh, everything is good to go. Make sure your ID is right because when you hit save, it's going to take a while to load. Okay. So I'm going to pause the video here and I'm going to unpause it again in uh, about a minute or so. I'll see you then. All right. We're back. It has been about a minute and we see here that this script has been enabled with this ID on this domain. Okay. So we're going to end up going in and checking this domain to make sure it works correctly. Don't click on save changes again. Uh, don't click cancel. Okay. We're just going to go back into pages. If you click save changes, it's going to take another minute or two to load. You can edit the script by going here and you can change another domain. That's fine. You can go here. You can pause the script here. So it's not going to delete it. It's just going to pause it or you can entirely delete the script. Okay. So these are your options here. And also if you click back on script manager, you can add a new script. And once again, you can pause the script or you can completely delete it. Okay. So we have added this. Now, if we want to edit this again, let's click here. We have added it to this domain. Okay. So let's go back to our pages and see uh, if the code is there. So we're going to go back to pages. We're going to look for a page that has the best keto diet dot fit. So for example, let's say this one, and we're going to click on it and make sure that it has the code there. So I'm just going to open this in a new tab. And right now it says zero active users. Let's see if it will say one. So let's, uh, we can't send traffic because this is for a different, this uh, analytics is set up for a completely different website. So uh, sending traffic will not work in this case. Uh, but in this case, now you see it says one active user right now because it does detect the code here. Okay. You can also check this code if you want to, by clicking on view page source and looking for your ID. So we're going to look for this ID UA172. So we're going to control F on windows to find. And we said one, seven, two, and here it is. Okay. So we know that Unbounce has successfully set up the Google analytics code on this page, as well as every other page with this domain. Okay. Now we're going to skip this for now and let's move on to the next step. Let's suppose you want to add the code to each page individually. Let's suppose you have certain domains and you have everything on the same domain, but you don't want to add it to every single page. What do you do? 
In this case, pretty simple. We're going to click on edit, and this is the second way of doing it. And we're going to add the code manually. Okay. So we're going to add it in the head tag of every page you want this code to be on. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy that, click copy. Let's go back to our page. So here we have our page that we created. And we're going to click on JavaScript, click on add new JavaScript and simply paste the code here. Let's name this maybe Google Analytics keto diet, right? And we're going to make this in the head section. Okay. And you would repeat this process for every single page where you want this code to be on. Okay. That's that second method. Um, and that's pretty much it. Okay. That's all there is to it. You'll click save, you'll click publish. So again, if you want to do it once for all the pages on a domain, use the scripts there, as I showed you on the bottom left of your unbounced dashboard. Or if you want to add it to an individual page, head over to the exact page you want to add the code to head over to JavaScript, uh, Google Analytics, Keto Diet and add it over here. All right. That is it. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out my unbounced playlist. I cover a ton of different cool little neat trips and uh, things you can do with unbounds. Uh, check out my Google ads playlist as well to learn how to send traffic to your unbounced pages. But that is all. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.